hey guys welcome back to another video so today we're gonna talk about how you go about connecting service now account with microsoft graph so there are two prerequisites for this video you should have a graph api app registration completed on your end on azure portal and the other one is you need to have a service now instance created so since i have both of this right now uh, let's get started so first thing first i'm on my developer.servicenow account i have this app engine studio already installed i'll click on start building so once I click on that, on the ServiceNow page, you'll get an option here to filter out. Just select OAuth 2 and select Application Registry. Here, just click on New. Um, select for third party OAuth provider. And there we have it, the page Configure Graph. So I'm going to name it Graph API Config. You can name it anything as you want. And then we'll have certain options for client ID, client secret. So once we are there, I'll click on the overview section, copy the client ID. I'll just paste the client ID here. I'll make sure this is out here so I would be easily navigate to this. Okay, so next thing I'll need is a client secret. I'll go there and go to the secret section since I do not have this secret i'll just create a new secret i'm gonna name this anything i'll just copy this secret and paste it here so depending upon the use case the grant type could be authorization code plan credential i'm just going to select authorization code for now the token url should be login.microsoft.com slash tenant id slash token i'll be pasting that link in the docker in the description below for a while i'm just pasting what i have right now so this is the token link you can get this link from the azure portal as well so if you can go to the overview section click on endpoints you will get your token endpoint here all right so that's pretty much it that you'll need if you need if you're using authorization code then you'll also need to use a redirect url so in this case just copy this redirect url and go to the authentication section at the platform and make sure you have um, this url added here and that's pretty much it and you should be good to call the graph api from the service now so that's all guys that's what a pretty short video on how to configure service now with graph api do let me know if you need any other information or any other video on this topic in detail on how to go about calling the api endpoints and how to do for the configuration until then see you next time thank you adios bye bye